Hello anybody, I am Alpaca Patrol, and this is the Basement Collection. That's right! Ed McMillan just came out with this, and it is freaking awesome. It's all a collection of his games uh, that he's made over the years. Uh, you know, not including Super Meat Boy and uh, Isaac, most recently. Um, and also some some hidden games, some hidden games that uh, that are unlockable. So we're gonna be going through all this. By the way, I should mention that this was gifted to me by uh, uh, by Pancakes Eleven. So thank you so much, Pancakes Eleven. You are a god slash goddess. I'm not really sure, but you're one of those things. Uh, and uh, anyway, oh, actually, I just realized the Fraps counter's going. You probably saw that. If you did, I apologize. If you didn't, then never ever look back. Now, I think I'm gonna save Meat Boy for last. I, I, I am gonna do like a full playthrough of all these games here. But I think I'm gonna save Meat Boy for last because, I don't know, Meat Boy, you know, it's, it's pretty cool. And we'll, we'll, we'll try, uh, we'll try with, uh, Coil. And Coil is made by Edmund McMillan and Florian Himsel, which are the two developers of, uh, Binding of Isaac. So let's see, let's see what's going on with, uh, with Coil. I don't think I've ever played this, so uh, I'm I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty excited to see what's going on with this. Uh, I don't know exactly when I'm gonna end the episode. Uh, maybe after I beat the game. Maybe before I beat the game. I'm not sure. We'll see. I mean, these are all just uh, games uh, that Ed made while he was uh, working at uh, New. Well, not working at Newgrounds. I mean, he was making uh, flash games at Newgrounds. And the coil shouldn't wait for her. I just watched her whimper, and it crushed her ego, choking her just enough to reach inside. Hmm. That's... Alright. It's fairly dark, I want to say. Uh, but, uh... You know, maybe, maybe, maybe it's maybe it's not so dark. You know, maybe... Okay, yep, nope. That's definitely a sperm. Okay, so apparently I'm a sperm. Uh, so I guess I'm gonna have to go to the egg here. No, I can't quite breach the egg's barrier if this is in fact an- Oh no, there's the egg. Oh no, somebody's breaking in! I'm gonna have to kick his ass! Oh, son of a bitch! Did I just lose? Do I have to get into a different egg? Okay. Uh, it's forming a blast assist. Alright, I have no idea what to do in this game. Alright, so apparently... I'm trying to figure out how... No, I'm gonna beat you. Yeah, no, somebody already got there. Alright. These damn sperm, man. Oh, I see. Now I'm understanding the mechanics of uh, moving into this. Alright, so let's, let's get inside this egg. Yeah, there we go. Fantastic. Oh, this is glorious. We are going to succeed at impregnating this egg. And it's gonna be glorious. I don't know what happens after this point. Uh, but I suppose we'll see. He whispered and she was divided. This will make you remember that I'm part of you. Each cell is marked by my name. You can't ever leave me. I'm all that you have. That is, uh, yeah, you know, this is getting darker and darker, but I mean, you know, that's, uh, Ed McMillan for you, I suppose. Uh, so, I can't skip these, by the way. So I assume Ed McMillan thinks that, uh, that people read very, very slowly. Uh, I'm pretty curious to see what this game develops into. I've never played this, so, you know, I don't really know. I don't really know. Uh, let us see. I would really like to, can I, okay, alright. Okay, so I think the goal here is to match the colors to the other colors. I don't quite understand how how I move things. Gosh, this is a very experimental game, I will tell you that. Interesting, though. This had to be, like, his first, uh, actual title. Okay, so I guess I'm supposed to get all the colors to touch each other. Hmm, almost there. There we go, come on. Yeah, there we go. Ah, oh, but the one red and the one green over there. Alright, let's do this. Oh, uh, so close, so close! I think... I think we're so close! I can't be sure. I cannot be sure. Alright, come on. Come on. I think what we're supposed to do is to get all the colors to touch each other. 
uh, while, like, at the same time and not be disconnected. Hmm. Okay, so I guess clicking on the mouse does that. Okay, that's interesting. Interesting. I'm not understanding the puzzle. Oh, we're so close. Red orb of stem cells. Yeah, there you go. There you go. All right, I did it. I think. Now what? Oh, okay. Something crazy's happened. When he released her, she could feel his wet hair run through her fingers, and she descended into the darkness. His face, distorted by their distance, faded into the light. She was alone. Yet she could still feel him inside her. This feeling was comforting and familiar, but his presence scared her. She knew he was still there, watching her, just out of the light, waiting. I should, uh, I should read Fifty Shades of Grey on, uh, on camera. Whoa, what? All right. So there are some kind of evil jellyfish attempting to murder our wonderful egg that I guess we're trying to get to the bottom here. I'm just going to keep spinning. You know, when in doubt, barrel roll, man. What, uh, what, else, what else can you do, really? I don't understand the goal here at this point either. I suppose I will figure it out eventually. What what's throwing me off is that the controls are very odd. Like they they're they're mildly unresponsive and not particularly clear. Whereas if you look at Meat Boy, uh which we will play eventually, uh that game pretty much lays out exactly what the controls are. And I mean and I imagine that is the point of what is going on here. Uh however Oh no no no. I, I guess I'm trying to get to the bottom? Maybe I'm trying to destroy these things. Can I do something to them? Mm, yeah, they seem to be pushing me to the top, so I guess my goal is to go to the bottom. So I'm going to attempt to do that. You know, roll out of the way of these little bastards. I don't know what they are. They're like, uh, upset sperm. They're pissed off that, uh, that they didn't... They weren't the, uh, lucky ones. You know, that's something to think about, by the way. If you ever say, hey, I've never won anything in my life, because I've never won anything in my life, uh, realize that, in fact, you have... We'll get back to that. She would find herself reaching out to others, taking small pieces of them with her as mementos. These are the things she felt were important, the things that made these people significant. Every aspect of her being was composed of others. Her arms grew stronger with every embrace, and lips grew fuller with every kiss. Or hiss, I can't really tell. Okay, all right, now things... We're starting to get extremely strange. So am I trying to... Is this like a snake type of thing? Maybe I'm supposed to wrap around it? Does that do me any good? Kinda, I guess. Oh, okay. I don't know if that's good or bad. Seems like it's good? I don't know. This is interesting, to say the least. Alright, let's try to get both of these. Let's wrap them, wrap them up, wrap them up, yeah, yeah, boy. I caught those orbs of, I don't know, uh, precursor, human pre precursor. I am very curious to see how this game ends, uh, to be honest with you, and I don't know how that's gonna happen. I have to imagine it's going to end soon unless we go through this fetus's entire life. You know, one thing that you can say about McMillan, he seems to be uh, very fascinated by fetuses. All right, so I guess I have to I have to make sure that they hit the, the little ball thing. All right, fantastic. Oh, okay, I see. So the little uh, so the little crawfish or shrimp are trying to eat the balls as well. Uh, she would lead them to him, watching as his hands reached out to pull them away. Their essence consumed and nothing remained. She would fantasize what it was like to feel his hands on her body, penetrating her and draining her into nothing. This has got to have some kind of weird payoff of, like, something hilarious, I would have to imagine. Okay, what the hell is going on now? I don't even I, I I don't even understand if I'm controlling anything here. Uh is that an ovum? Okay, what am I supposed to do? 
I'm like moving down on the. Uh, okay, am I moving up? What am I doing? Uh, just moving the mouse around. Okay, all right. There's some thing moving. Uh, that seems good. I guess. Gosh, you know, maybe if I understood the human reproductive system a bit better, uh, then this would be going better than it is. This seems more like a story than a game to me, to be honest with you. Uh, which is interesting, uh, but not... I'm gonna be honest, not particularly uh, exciting from a gameplay perspective. Let's do something, please. Gosh, I have no idea what's going on! I'm about to uh, check out a new game, to be honest with you, uh, until someone in the comments could possibly guide me in the right direction as to what I'm supposed to be doing in this game, particularly this mission of this game. Because I got no clue. Am I, can I move these guys? Not really. I don't really understand. I'm moving things. Let me press the arrow keys. Space. No, I don't. I don't I, I, like, I honestly don't feel like my inputs are doing anything. So I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Okay, wait, wait. What am I doing here? Am I affecting this? Yes, I appear to be affecting this. I don't know why I'm affecting this. I'm like rubbing the, uh... The thang here. Ah, is this... Okay, now I'm, now I'm playing with the butthole. Uh, oh, okay, alright, I see. Okay, I'm kind of getting this now. Kind of getting this. So I'm massaging the the whatever that is, the the butthole ovum thing. Okay, yeah, and it's making the thing come out or move up. God, I really obviously I have no idea how the human reproductive system works, but I have a feeling this isn't it. Okay, so by rubbing this thing, I'm making our little uh, fetal friend move upwards so that's good uh, although I really don't know what I'm doing I guess I'm supposed to keep going up no come on move yeah there you go I guess I'm supposed to okay I'm supposed to put it here oh can I move to the left or something no I can't all right I'm getting the idea kinda yeah just just play with that butthole if I had a nickel every time I said that I'd have, uh, I'd have more nickels than you would expect, to be honest with you. I haven't played with a lot of buttholes. Uh, more than, more than one would be, uh, you know, excited to talk about. I, I guess I'm trying to get to the top. Kind of like I was trying to get to the bottom before. I'm excited to see what I can read. I should probably do the, the next section in Gilbert Gottfried's voice. Alright, I feel like I'm supposed to be touching these fangs. I guess I'm supposed to go to the... Can I go to the right? Kinda. I'm supposed to do this. Okay, yeah, this, this does appear to be moving me in a direction as opposed to... So then... Oh gosh. I am, I am totally lost. I am totally lost here. I feel like an idiot. But in fairness, this does seem like a non-traditional puzzle game. If I were to uh, make a point. Okay, I may be able to capture one of these things. No. Okay, let's try to let's try to move in the other direction. No, this doesn't appear to be working. Oh gosh. You know, I'm gonna give this another uh, minute. Oh wait, there's nothing around, so maybe we're reaching the end. No, never mind. <laughs> give this one more minute before I try another game, <laughs> because I obviously am going to need some aid from commenters who have played this, uh, perhaps when it was out, or also, you know, when. They were playing the basement collection and figured it out faster than I could, because I obviously can't do it. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and, and, and try this. I will lose all unsaved progress. Oh, it was nominated for an IGF, which is the Indie Games Festival, Innovation in Game Design. Oh, fine. If it's so innovative, and I gotta, I gotta play it, right? What do 
I do? What do I do? I mean, I, I obviously have to capture... Can I... Okay. Okay. Now I'm learning. God, why didn't I figure this out faster? Now, I don't understand, though. Okay. Yeah, are they, are they being sucked in? I think they're being sucked in. This is what I like to see. This is fantastic. Okay, there we go. Mmm, yeah, yummy, delicious, whatever those things are. Let's, uh, let's turn ourselves around. Actually, you know what? Let's turn this way. This way seems like it has more of these delicious entities, whatever they may be. Mm, maybe too far. Let's move it back. This is quite innovative, I will say that. Hot damn. Alright. Eating some more uh, clusters of stem cells. One would have to imagine. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, we're getting some more. Come on, guys. No, no, no. Okay, let's, let's, let's turn it back. So anyway, the thing that I was trying to say before, by the way, was uh, you've already won, man. You, uh, you were one of, like, billions of sperm. And you were, uh, you were the strongest, so, you know, keep that in mind. Oh, yeah, oh, this is fantastic. Look at all these. Oh, no, 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 turn, turn, turn. Uh, wrong way, actually. This way. Yeah, there we go, fantastic. Let's see if we could get them. Are we too far? Mm, we might have hooked one. Yeah, we hooked one. I don't understand. Okay, so the middle is like the sucking mechanic. Cool. No, 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 wrong way. I need to get more used to this. <laughs> Forgive me, this moving scheme is very strange. I may even keep the mouse cursor on just so that you understand what I'm doing here. I'm basically massaging different parts of this uh, entity. Okay, let's, uh, let's, let's turn around. Let's get all this stuff sucked up. I just, I don't know if I'm supposed to be doing something else with these things, either. Right, okay, fantastic. We succeeded. But time did pass. They fell into one another at first glance, their fingers intertwined as they walked. This wasn't what she was used to. But from here on, things wouldn't be the same, and even though the longing lingered, for once in her life she thought about him. She forgot about him, not thought about him. I apologize, it's reasonably late at night. All right, let's, uh... Whoa! This is weird! <laughs> this is weird! All right, let's, let's, uh... Let's keep going. Mm. Can I speed up? I'm gonna speed up. Man, this is really cool, though. Oh, yeah, let's, let's get her. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kick her ass. I'm shooting sperm all up in her. Or whatever I'm doing. Maybe just Cupid arrows. Oh yeah, there we go. Fantastic, yeah. I guess I'm aiming these arrows at her. Oh yeah. Oh, we're gonna get it on. We are gonna get it on with our, like, bubble tentacles. Oh, this is glorious. Look at this. Look at all those hearts. Oh, she is so excited to be hitting, being hit by her arrows. After the dust settled and everyone had moved on, once again she was alone and she only had herself to blame. If she had just embraced her feelings when they called her, maybe she wouldn't have taken in so many of the things she later grew to hate. And maybe it was time to change. So she closed her eyes, pushing out every aspect of everyone she'd taken in, back into a world she never asked to be a part of. You know, it's nighttime, and we appear to be an entire brain now, inside of a ball of death. And we seem to only be able to move upwards. Oh, no. Okay, I understand. Am I supposed to go to the sea? No, I guess not. Alright, so we'll go up then. Oh. <laughs> this music is awesome. Alright, I don't really understand the control scheme here. Oh, gosh. There we go. Nope. Nope. Okay. I'm... Oh, God. It appears that both places that I put my mouse... make him go in the opposite direction of where I want to go. So I don't understand exactly what I'm supposed to do. Alright, let's... We can spin! 
Spinning's cool. I suppose we're supposed to go up again. Because I can't seem to... There we go. No, see? Again? Alright. And I unlocked an achievement! She could feel him in the room with her! Her eyes darted around, searching for movement in the darkness. Frantic and confused, her breathing became fast and shallow. As her eyes welled up with tears, he was here, and there was nothing she could do to stop him. She was scared. Scared of all the things she would be leaving. Scared of how she would be treated. Scared of what she had done. What had she done? As the room grew dim, she could feel his hand reach to her, reach out for her, touching her, in a way that was comforting and familiar. She was leaving. As he picked her up, he pressed his cheek to hers. From there, I can't really read the rest. Oh, okay. I think I completed it. Let's see, I mean, uh... Yeah. Yeah, success. We have succeeded in defeating Coil. I don't know, I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't know what I just experienced. AVGM has appeared in the basement. Ah, that appears to be a new game. That's pretty cool. Available only through DLC. When was this made? 2009, interesting. Uh, and there's Triacnid. Yeah, you know what? Let's do a quick run through of the game. So we got Meat Boy, Coil, uh, Triacnid. Uh, then we have Ether, Time Fuck, or Time Fuck, uh, Spewer. Or we have Little Chad, Gray Matter, and uh, AVGM, which I just unlocked. Uh, Meat Boy. When was this made? I kind of want to. I think I might do this in chronological order. So anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I guess I'm gonna do like a game of video if they're each that short. I think Meat Boy may be particularly longer than the other ones. But, uh, but yeah! Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys like all this stuff. I just love Edmund's art style and his mind! It's amazing. It's a beautiful thing. He is truly indie royalty. So, yeah. Let me know how you feel about it. I'm gonna be doing all of these games. Uh, and hopefully unlocking everything. It also comes with the soundtrack. Uh, thanks again to Pancakes11 for giving me this game because it's freaking awesome. And I would suggest that you guys get it. Here's the other thing about it. On Steam, uh, if you already own Binding of Isaac, then you already have a discount for the Basement Collection, uh, which is awesome. Uh, so, you know, it'll be cheaper than most games. Anyway... So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. This is Alpac Patrol signing out. Peace, fools.